What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, I do collect a wide range of different items and one of the things I collect are CDs. Honestly, I just love collecting CDs. I love collecting music. I love a lot of artists and I have a lot of respect for music itself. And that's why I want to put that in my collection and keep it growing. And today I picked up nine CDs at a yard sale. So I'm gonna be sharing them with you in today's yard sale finds video. So let's just get right to it with the first CD, and that is Green Day's Nimrod album. I believe this is their fourth album they released. I might be wrong on that, but I've never seen it in person, and I had to pick that up. I've always been a fan of Green Day, so that is a perfect addition to my collection. By the way, all these CDs were only $1, so of course, I could have picked out maybe 20, but I just picked out the nine that I love the most and I wanted to add to my personal collection the most, and that's what I did, but for a dollar, you can't really kick it anyways. Next up is Nirvana. It doesn't say an album name to it, and so I checked, and it says it was released in 2002. I know Kurt Cobain passed away in the 90s, I believe, so I'm assuming by the looks of it, this is almost like a greatest hits album, and... If you look at the back where the songs are, all the songs are their best songs, in my opinion at least. So I believe this is just like a greatest hits album. Still Nirvana, I'm a huge fan of Nirvana, I love Kurt Cobain, so this is a great addition to my collection as well. So I believe it's just that, it's just a greatest hits album. Next up is Avril Lavigne, Let Go. And this actually has a funny story, so a couple weeks ago I found this at a, another yard sale as well. But the CD was all scratched. The case was all destroyed, so I didn't pick it up at that yard sale, and I found it today again in perfect condition. The CD, no scratches or anything. I'm a fan of Avril Lavigne, so I thought to me, finding it a second time at a second yard sale almost a week later is kind of a sign to pick it up, so that's what I did. Honestly, this is the album of hers that I wanted. It's kind of an I iconic album for hers. It, ha it has a lot of her uh, songs whenever she was uh, coming up, so... That's a great one for my collection. Next up is Black Sabbath, greatest hits of the 70s, what is it, the 70s to 78, so I'm not a huge fan of them, but to me to have a greatest hits Black Sabbath album, I thought why not, that should go in my collection, so at least I could say I have one Black Sabbath CD. I don't find them too much anyways, so that's why I don't have too many in my collection. Next up is one I've been looking for now my mother actually has the same one but I'm a collector and I wanted this for my own personal collection so that is what I did it is Tom Petty full moon fever and you guys are gonna see uh, more videos soon of different artists and such like that that I'm doing here on my channel so that should be about September maybe at the end of August I'll start putting those videos out but great one to have I'm a huge fan of Tom Petty Next up is Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. The only Guns N' Roses CD I have is one that came out years ago, and it's their greatest hits album. But this one here, I've never actually owned one of their actual single albums, so that's why I picked that one up. And it's an iconic one, so I decided to I'd just go with it. Next up is the Ultimate Aerosmith Hits. I'm not sure when this one came out, I haven't really checked, but I've always been a fan of Aerosmith as well. So I decided to pick this one out too and keep it in my personal collection. Another Aerosmith CD, Nine Lives. Honestly, I love the CD cover for that, that looks amazing, that's kind of funny too. And again, I'm a fan of Aerosmith, so of course, this is actually the first CD I have of theirs that is just a single album. Everything else, like the last one is just a Greatest Hits and the only other CD I have in my personal collection is Greatest Hits, so this is great to have in my personal collection. And the last one, back in the day, if you guys remember cassettes, I know I used to have a few cassettes and this is one of the albums I had for cassettes. I have since got rid of all my cassettes, that's kind of old school, and I know CDs are kind of going out too, but I'm trying to collect as much as I can while they're still out there and you can purchase, but... It is another Aerosmith, Aerosmith Get a Grip, iconic album right there, I used to have it on uh, cassette so I used to listen to this all the time, 
back in the day. That's like in the early 2000s when I had my cassettes. So it's kind of a uh, throwback and I seen it and I thought I have to pick that up. I haven't seen this album in years and I've never seen it in CD form because I think it first came out on cassette. So I kind of purchased this just to say I used to have it kind of to remember my old collection I had for cassettes while having it in my new collection for CDs. So those are the nine CDs I picked up. Honestly, there's only one Aerosmith CD I am looking for right now. I can't remember the name of the album, but it is the one that has the uh, two trucks stacked on top of each other. I can't remember what it's called either. So that is the next one I'm trying to hunt down and hopefully I can find it, but it's not one that I'll be trying to purchase online or anything like that. It's just whenever I'm out and about and I see CDs or anything else that I collect at a yard sale, I'll go through them, try to pick out quite a few at least a few that I liked and I'll start sharing them here for you guys. So these are the CDs I recently picked up at a yard sale. Which one is your favorite? Comment that down below and I'll leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please take care. Peace.